When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I want to listen to heartbeats, and I want to work in a hospital. But most importantly, I want to be a member of the American Medical Association. Today, the AMA represents the best of American medicine and continues to serve as an advocate for the profession, physician, and patient. On May 7, 1847, in the Hall of the Academy of Natural Sciences of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the AMA was established by Nathan Smith Davis with the help of the delegates of the National Medical Convention. That day, Dr. Nathaniel Chapman was welcomed as the president of the AMA. The American Medical Association also established the first National Code of Professional Ethics in Medicine, and they were also the first national professional medical organization in the world. The AMA lobbies in the United States Congress to achieve medicine's legislative goals on a wide range of issues that affect the practice of medicine. For example, the AMA is actively supporting the H.R. 1409, the Quality Health Care Coalition Act of 2011, which was introduced by Representative John Connors. The AMA also supports H.R. 5, the Health Efficient, Accessible, Low-Cost, Timely Health Care Act of 2011. There have been many changes to Medicare's managed care program as a result of the passage of the Medicare Prescription Drugs Improvement and Modernization Act of 2003. Overall, the AMA is an outspoken advocate for medical liability reforms and they're leading an aggressive campaign at both the federal and state levels to reduce medical liability insurance premiums. In order to find and support candidates for congressional offices, whether it be a new candidate for office who will make physicians and patients a top priority or a candidate running for re-election who has proven to be a friend of Madison, the AMA has a bipartisan political action committee called AMPAC. AMPAC supports candidates entirely with money raised from membership dues from AMPAC members. Therefore, a contribution made to a candidate by AMPAC represents the support of thousands of physicians who themselves contributed to AMPAC. AMA membership is only eligible to physicians, residents, medical students, and retired physicians. Overall, the AMA offers annual regular membership fees between $20 and $420, depending on what category you're in and all members must abide by the Code of Ethics. Dues-paying members are eligible for print copies of JAMA and American Medical News. I really cannot wait to grow up and become a doctor and finally fulfill my dream of being a member of the American Medical Association.